Hey, what's going on, guys? Tuba player negative AE here playing a game called Heroes of Loot, and I just wanted to <clears throat> just wanted to open up on this page. <laughs> I couldn't tell you why. Uh, it just felt like a nice page to open up on. Uh, but without further ado, we should just go back and play Heroes of Loot before I freaking the horde comes after me because I'm actually not that good at this game. Um, but I played a, I played this a bunch on mobile back in the day back in the day uh, so when I saw that this came out I was super excited I always go warrior but I think I'm going Valkyrie this time like l look at that look at this that's pretty cool so the way the game works um, if you didn't already know you move with the arrow keys, which is cool, and you fire with the mouse. Uh, so it's very much like a, it's like a Binding of Isaac if you could use the mouse. I, I, can you use the mouse? It's been a while. It's been a while since I played the Binding of Isaac. I always played it with uh, WASD and the arrow keys when I did play it. Um, now this game starts off like way too easy, uh, which is weird to me. Uh, it, for some reason they like they don't difficulty spike until like way later and then um, these things so whenever you destroy like a purple chest or a chest that looks like this uh, it gives you a fragment of a piece and if you get all four fragments of that piece you unlock the item which is super awesome oh geez this is like the hardest early game boss that you can get <sighs> which is fine right If, if I could do it <laughs> and that's another thing that I noticed about this game is bosses seem to have like a ton of health which gives the illusion of difficulty but really it's just um, ow. Ow, ow, ow. but really it just takes it's like time consuming can you stop can you guys stop can all of you stop and then um, if you defeat enough enemies for example like it's like all you'll level up. So in the top left, I can't look right now. I don't know what level I am. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, finally. But uh, I'm level one right now, as you can see. And if I defeat one more enemy, that gives me tons of experience. So these little guys, these little guys don't give me very much, uh, which is fine. Uh, but you want you want to find people that give you a bunch. So I just leveled up there because I defeated a whole bunch of boxes. Sometimes in boxes there's a bunch of stuff. The magical force. So I don't have two I don't have two things. But I don't, I, and I've never been to the magical forest. I always go to the sewers. There's always a guy that's like, take you to the sewers. And I'm like, I guess I guess I want to go to the sewers. I don't I don't know what the level progression is in this game. Uh, it seems to just go on for a long time. Or just kind of how the Heroes of Loot, uh, the first one went. Um, but that's because you could level up your person. Obviously, I've gotten pretty far in this game because I'm on, I'm second on the leaderboards. They always do that. They're like, there's like rooms where they make you take damage. I have three things though, so I'm going to the magical forest, whether the game likes it or not. It's down here, right? No. Is it? No. <laughs> I've never been to the Magic Forest. I, I always go to the sewers. There's always, and uh, this the the currency each has like. So okay, let me explain. So the, this currency is used to like buy things from the shop. Yes, I would love to go to the Magical Forest. As you can see, I just earned an achievement for going to the Magical Forest, which is weird to me. Whoa, this is not cool. Stupid devil guys. Destroy that. Perfect. Good. What the crap is this? There's a heavy door without a lock. There must be a way to open it. So the last time I encountered that door, there was like a thing. Anyway, so this this appears is currency. The second one down below it is healing. So sometimes there'll be guys on the level that'll be like, hey, do you want to be healed all the way? And they're like, pay me an absurd amount of those, and I will 
definitely do that for you. And um, it's definite. It's always an absurd amount. So you got to make sure that you have enough of those in case you lose your health, which doesn't happen for a ne for the next couple levels. What do you want? See this guy every time. Yeah, I'd like to go to the sewers. Uh, but it's a treasure room instead. Every so often you'll get these treasure rooms. Which is super cool. Um, and those fragments that you find are only for this run. So like if you if you don't unlock them, it's not like the Binding of Isaac where you unlock the item and then you have it and then uh, in future runs it could show up. In this, in this, once you gather all the fragments, that happens for this run and then it's done once it happens. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So for this thing... You need an idol, and we don't have an idol. Uh, if we were to continue on the path on our first thing, it's usually on the first couple floors. Ow. Destroy that thing. You can destroy pretty much every everything, as you've noticed. Okay, that was bad. I just walked into the bomb. But you know what? Whatever. The, the cool thing about my high score that I have on there is that it's not... I'm actually pretty close to my my high score. Am I? No. My high score was 10,000. I don't know how I'm going to go about doing this because um, level, level, or levels. This game can take a long time. Like a long time. Ooh, the idol's right here. Yo! The idol's right there. That was a cool turnaround. Literally took me like ha all of half of a second to find that idol. Uh, but yeah, games take forever, and I'm, I, I was super surprised the first time I went how long the game lasted, because freaking I was there forever. That high score that I got, it m I must have been there for like an hour. And it's only because, and it's not even, it's not even because uh, of anything cool, it's because that the game, yikes, 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 not good. I want to be level 2 right now, because uh, level 2 you get a damage boost and you fire faster. Can you just die? Thank you. We are level three, or I mean level five. I mean, so so when you when you reach level five, you upgrade. When you reach level ten, you upgrade. Uh, and then I th think it's fifteen. I haven't gotten to fifteen yet. Ow! 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 It's really easy to get health, though. I, the only I was gonna say the only reason I died on my last run is because um, I, I made a mistake. Like I was I was I was effing around. I backed into a corner when I shouldn't have backed into a corner, just because I thought I could kill him in time. That was not the case. It was definitely not the case. There's these uh, ogre-like things that you eventually encounter. Oh, good. Free damage. Sure. Every so often you'll get exits that spawn on top of stuff, which is weird. The game just hit early access though. Like, the game just, just now hit early access. I play this a lot, like I said, on mobile. So, the only reason I know about this game is because I signed up for the Orange Pixel new newsletter after playing this so much. I was like, hey, Orange Pixel, sign me up for the newsletter. Ow. Damage is also misleading because um, your damage goes off of, like, really high like stat things so your health is like probably like a thousand so when you take like 58 damage you're like what the crap 58 damage but I don't know if it's really that much cool anything over here no there's just a ton of bombs every so often there'll be NPCs over here by doors and the NPCs will uh, say something and depending on what they say is what you need to do so for example if they say oh we need to sacrifice you just kill the guy in front of the door. If they say, oh, you need to defeat Rocco, who has the key, which is usually the freaking case, dude. It's, it's pretty much always Rocco that has the key. And Rocco's the most annoying boss. He's almost like Worm Boss, where he has, like, way too much health. Like, from Vagante. Like, if you go into Vagante, you go to Worm Boss. Worm Boss has too much health. Golem Boss also has too much health, but Golem Boss is, like, a hard boss. So I understand um, why he's like that. But uh, Rocco just has too much health like he's a rock and he moves super slow so you know that's fine so that he's tanky and all that but 
when it takes a full like five minutes just to take him down, it becomes a little bit annoying. I haven't played Mage yet, so maybe Mage is, is easier at uh, doing damage. I always play Elf because uh, of the attack speed. But then again, I can't imagine that they give the mage that much less attack speed. Maybe he, can, he just has the addition of using uh, spells, which is interesting. Oh, okay. Hold on. I had to take my can hand off because my nose itch. My nose itches sometimes. And, like, you can't just stop everything and itch your nose. <laughs> I'm looking to get the top spot, though. Um, so hopefully this is the run that do it. I, I was going to say, I don't know how I'm going to record this because... Uh, since games last so long, I might just have to stop at like 50 minutes and then continue another time and see if I can and see if I can get like an unreachable top score. I want I want to be with that guy that has what the crap did I just take damage? I want to be that guy at the top of the leaderboard you see every like every time there's a leaderboard <laughs> where you're like he can't possibly he was hacking. That's what I want people to say about my score. I want people to think I was hacking. I've never had this. It's a copper shield. I don't need a healing potion. I should, although I should probably kill these things. I w you always gotta kill everything because they could have health like that. What? I didn't even see those guys. Let's buy the copper shield. I don't know. I, th I believe that the, the shields just reduce damage uh, f for a set amount of hits. So like, if you get hit from the front a bunch, they just reduce the damage done from the front which is cool because reduced damage is always welcome or at least reduced projectiles maybe but every time I get a shield it has like a time limit almost like you'll see like on you'll start to see on the left uh, the shield go down or degrade um, or at least maybe the copper shield doesn't because it doesn't look like it's going down ow probably sw should have switched to melee makes you invincible for a short time I don't know how that's gonna work does it work because um, I know those items and once you get all the fragments you get the item but I've never seen the invincibility one I wonder if that happens like whenever you want it to happen or if it happens right when you get the item uh, those guys those guys seem to die faster when you uh, when you don't use melee against them. Yeah, see, like, they die in, like, a second when I use ranged attack against them. <sighs> All I'm saying is is the Minotaur boss is really cool. The Minotaur boss is, like, uh, is a boss you don't want to get as a boss. Oh, good. Oh, good. Give me this rune, though. I'm thinking that the rune allows you to do more damage. Cause the way it's looking right now, I'm doing 20 damage, and I wasn't doing 20 damage before. Or maybe it's just as I level up, I do damage. That's weird. I just want to clear out these guys, cause he just spawns so many guys. He's the hardest boss, I think, in my opinion, because um, he spawns so many guys that you have to just then shoot at and waste your time shooting at. When it, when you when I when you start to reach uh, level five, you get this thing where you shoot through enemies, which is really cool, especially when you're trying to defeat guys like this, who just they summon a bunch to try and mess with your crap, dude. And it's not like he moves slow; he moves like a decent speed. Okay, come on, flame flame guy. Listen, I know that you're mad at me for some reason. You should see the cutscenes in this game. I, I, I unfortunately I, I didn't catch on camera. I just was playing this game because I wanted to play the game, um, and I didn't know it was going to be something that I might want to record. Because uh, I, I knew it was a roguelike, but I, I don't know. And uh, right now, right now my channel is pretty good with Neon Chrome and all that, so I wasn't looking for any um, games. But I mean, if I can get this started as a series, this is this is a really good game. My commentary needs to get a bit better. Like when I watch my my videos back, Flame Shield or Flame Guy, listen, I'm gonna need you to die. He's like Rocco. I swear to good lord. 
When you start getting to the higher dungeons, like, these bosses start to be, like, unbearably terrible. Um, so it becomes super hard to, like, do anything. Gotta scratch my nose. Okay. Good, good. Can you stop? I really wish he would die. I really do. I really, I really wish just for once in his life he would die. But like you, you're seeing how ridiculous it is, right? Or how fast is? Cause the the and Rocco's the worst. Like just, just wait till I show you guys Rocco. Assuming that I can get past this guy because he's just not dying himself. Last 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 time I spent straight up like five minutes just fighting one boss. Uh, and this boss is hard because this guy this guy damages you. At least Rocco he doesn't damage you very much because as long as you're smart with your shit. He, yeah. You guys are super dumb. Okay, there we go. We gotta kill these guys so we don't get damaged. I'm not, I'm not doing enough crowd control on these guys. But finally! Dear lord, that took way too long. And you see my health? Like my, So my health is low, sure. But it's not low to the point where I can't get that back. Because this game is really good about giving you health back. I know it's not moving. <sighs> I think they should replace that with... Now... Uh, with everything's fine here, like the earthbound thing. Is this another room? Found another room. Uh, oh, I have to find all the runes. Cause uh, in in one of the gameplays, ooh, there's another one. There's gonna be a devil guy somewhere. Yep, there he is. You can tell because they just, they just, if there's an empty room, they just spawn. Uh, let's just put this in there. It's, it's weird. It's been oddly different every single time that I've played. So, I mean, props to the game for that. Oh my goodness. You never see those things until it's too late or it hits you. Yeah, see, like, whenever there's an empty room, Devil Guys always spawn. I need more health. It's 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 surprising that I haven't seen a health thing. There we go. There's a health pot. And there's always those guys too that take the things. Is there any health over there? There's money, but I don't care right now. If you look at my things, it's more than enough. It's, I have more than enough to um, to buy anything that I want. Look at this. There's way too many of them. Level up. I also wish that it would heal you when you leveled up. But it doesn't do that either. But, I mean, with the amount of health that the game is providing, I guess I don't really care that much. It's like, this is going to fill me up a bunch. Whenever you get those red chests, oh my goodness, they just pretty much give you everything that you might have lost ever back. Sometimes they'll give you like too many of them and you need to like pace them out. But from a health standpoint, you are perfectly fine in this game. You just need to not freak out. Like when I was first playing this, I was freaking out every time because I had no idea that there was uh, that many health things around. So whenever I, wow, there must be a bunch of spawners over there. Either that or, like, there's just too many. Oh, as you can see, we are level 5, so if you look look at our, our tier, our tier, I want to, I keep wanting to say tier because of the Finding of Isaac, but if you look at our shot effects, we have, um, like, weird looking missile-like arrows now, which is really cool. It sh they shoot through enemies, as far as I know, and they do a little bit more damage than we were doing before. So we have enough teleportation, so if we want to go to a certain area, we can, if we find that person. Uh, and we also have enough for heal, for heals, in case we find someone that would heal us. Good, good. You gotta remember in, like, empty rooms, there's always gonna be devil guys. 
and I don't know if they're if if they're triggerable, like or if you can stop them from coming out. I think they just appear. This is the Valkyrie's special thing, so I'm gonna buy it. I don't know what it does. And we're gonna buy the experience potion too because uh, it helps out. Oh snap! I don't know what it does. Did I just did I just lose it? I did. I just lost it. Okay, I know I, I know what it does now though. <sighs> so basically, the, the every every person has a special item. So if you look on the character select screen, which I didn't I didn't spend enough time on, but if you look at the uh, character select screen, they they all have like special items that they that they can use, uh, or that when you find them, you should definitely need to see. Invincible. I wonder how long you're invincible for and when it activates. <sighs> but yeah, the wizard and the elf have one, and the Valkyrie and the thing have one. You have a melee and a ranged, obviously. I want to level that girl up more, or this girl up more, or the Valkyrie up. But it's not like I ever use them ever. Even even like all the bosses that that you fight in the game are all melee bosses that you have to get. You have to stay out of range for, otherwise you'll take like thousands and thousands of damage. I like those hooded guys because they. Oh. I was gonna say I like those hooded guys. Finally. Right. Oh wow. That was the dumbest teleporter ever. It was on top of spikes, so you had to like take damage to do to do anything. That's fine. It's not very much damage, obviously. I didn't go down there, but I want to take more damage to go check it out. And for the most part, these things are pretty endless, or this, I've, or I haven't seen an end to it yet. And I don't know, I don't know where I am right now in the dungeon, <laughs> which is weird because you get teleported around a lot. Like especially in the first couple levels, it's like you want to go to the magical forest. Oh, do you want to go to the sewers? Oh, what about this? I'm leveling up a lot. I do want to get to. Uh, I do want to get to. Uh, there's a. I don't know if it's a level or if it's a... What's it? What's up? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is the guy that killed me last time. Uh, just because it's really hard to get away from him if you get trapped in a corner. Whew. Really hard to get away from that guy. And, and, <laughs> and like, I, it was my bad because I walked into the corner and I knew, I was like, oh, if I don't kill him in time, he's going to kill me. And that he did. What was I talking about before? Oh yeah, there's no level progression, so you, they need like a difficulty meter or something. But as of right now, the game is completely playable. Like I like it a lot. It definitely reminds me of the last one, which is awesome. Cool. We unlocked something over there. So I didn't even talk to the guy, and somehow I knew that that's what he wanted. What's so over here? This is locked for some reason. Oh, it's a shop. Uh, do we need health? No, we need a shield. I'll take the food. Might as well. It's only six, six cents. And having a shield is always nice. Having a shield is always nice. I have to say, I'll, I use I use my range guy more than I use my melee guy for sure. They should really put more like like emphasis on the the melee guy although this is cool and like it's super awesome to do or feels good to do it doesn't do much <laughs> it doesn't do much especially with uh, other people in the game this is gonna make me invincible right now okay loot will fly towards you <sighs> evidently I have three fragments of that which is cool so it looks like it's gonna come to an end here soon because we're approaching 10,000 and the highest score is uh, 12,000 right now which is cool and all, uh, but I definitely can beat it. Definitely, 100%. Granted, the game's been out, like, what, a day now? So my score is definitely going to get beaten by anybody good that plays the game, or anybody that uh, even tries a little bit. <laughs> so that scares me a little bit. That's why I want my score to be, like, hacking good. So people are like, oh, wow, that's just not good. Or that's, or that's not that that's just not good, it's just that oh, I'll never get there. 
so I should just not try. This is the sacrifice guy, I think. Oh no, there's a monster generator nearby. We need to go kill that monster generator. Ow. We didn't lose any health from that. Oh, this guy again. He does so much damage. So much damage. Especially if you're trapped in a corner. You guys do not even want to know how much damage he was doing to me. And I was pretty far too, I was like level eight. I was like level eight, so I had a decent amount. I don't know if I don't know if it increases health or just damage, or it just matters to get to level ten or five. That was a little bit scary. Uh, here's the monster generator. This is how they're supposed to be spawning. There we go. Because in the for the magical forest that we had, it didn't spawn like this. Believe me, I did want all of those coins, but um, I also didn't want to die. I know. I know it's not moving, dude. <coughs> What's over here? This girl's going to take me to the magical forest, I think. Uh, one second, girl. I'll go to the magical forest after I get all of this. You do want to try to get the experience. What do you want? What? No gate. Here. There is a gate, girl. Do I have to kill you? Girl, girl thought I wasn't smart enough to see that there was a gate straight behind her. <gasps> Flip. I was an idiot. I know, I know the pattern that they appear in and still like freaking walk right into it, dude. Ow. Those bomb guys, I like the destructible environments in this game. <laughs> this game is hard? Okay, so this game is easy. But then uh, when, you, when you get a boss, it becomes like the stupidest game in the world. Uh, because it's just the boss fights take too long. It's something that I'm gonna have to say uh, to the developer himself or to Orange Pixel. I freaking love Orange Pixel. If you haven't played like their mobile games, you should definitely go. Ch like their mobile games are possibly the best mobile games. There's a monster generator nearby. Uh, possibly the best mobile games because they 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 harken back to like olden games olden games let's say wow lame all, all their games on mobile like harken back to like old games uh, which are really cool especially like given the stupid mobile market that goes on freaking where you have to wait like two years to like do anything ow that was completely my bad Oh, here's the monster generator. Oh, F me. I don't have anywhere to go. Nowhere to go. Oh, nowhere to go. Okay. Okay, we gotta defeat that hooded guy, gain an experience. Go that way, get that and that. I don't know what these statues do or what they mean, but they're everywhere. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. Ow. Oh, ow, ow. I like the elf though. I don't know. What am I firing right now? Are those still arrows? I think they're still arrows. So we're looking for health now. Which seems to be. Which seems to me like it's gonna be over here. Yeah, through this exit. Hopefully. We are on dungeon 14. I think I'm right, I reached I reached dungeon 18 uh, when I when I got the score that I got. So hopefully I can reach dungeon 18 again. I want all this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I already know. I already know. It's 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 um 
It's very avo avoidable, that damage. And I don't know why I decided that I was just going to take all of it. But sometimes you have to decide that. Let's see what's up here before we go. Hopefully it's not a boss. It doesn't look like one. Bosses are usually like straight empty rooms. Um, with... With, uh... And usually there's a door or something that you need to unlock. We're looking pretty nasty on the health standpoint. But then again, like, the game likes to give you bursts of health for some reason. Okay. I need all this to be dead. Thank you. And this to die. Busy exit, though. Oh, I died. Oh, I died. Anyway, my score was 12,000. Wow. Was it actually? Where does that put me on the leaderboards? That's better than my last one, I think. My highest dungeon is 18, but my, um, yeah. That puts me so close. Look at that. It put me so close to that top spot. Man, Kruik, I'm coming for you, dude. I hope you know I'm coming for you. Until someone like beats us, what? I, I, I see. As soon as someone like reaches this this zero, <laughs> that's when I'm done. That's when I'm like, you know what? You can have your top spot. That's like a hacking top spot right there. That's like, oh, did that guy hack? I'm not sure. And then this is um, this is like level based on like how high of a level you are. I'm think I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Uh, because if you look at the, the levels, it obviously goes up. And so I'm, I'm third place there, and I'm second place here, so... I mean, I'll take what I can get. Uh, thank you guys for watching, though. Uh, luckily, this didn't last too long, so yeah, the episodes will be perfectly fine. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, liked the video. If you did, let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below if you want to have a conversation, because that's how we do. Subscribe if you feel necessary. And I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Uh, peace out, guys.